Look how awesome and quick this new prompt generator is. Just copy and paste the prompt and watch the magic happen. I have some awesome prompts you'll want to use for this new update in FreePick. FreePick continues coming out with the most amazing updates. And it's perfect timing because these prompts produce some amazing AI videos. And FreePick came out with this update quickly, shortly after Kling released their update 1.6, which is awesome by the way. A couple of weeks later, FreePick also adds it to their AI arsenal. And I just recently made this video about Kling 1.6. And so if you haven't seen that video yet, you'll definitely want to check that one out next because the prompts and prompt generator in that video will make some amazing AI videos as well. So with that said, let's just go ahead and jump right into this. And now before we get into the prompt, Prompts, but not just prompts, prompts plus a prompt generator crafted specifically for AI video, let's first go over to free pick. Hey you, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. The first thing I want to point out is how things may look a little bit different, depending on the last time you logged into free pick. Nothing major, but first over here in the top left hand corner, you first want to make sure that you have video selected over here on the left hand side. Now remember, you can always click on any image and simply select the reuse image button right here where this option populates and you could also create a video directly from within any image that you created prior. And that is actually one of my favorite and most convenient ways to make these AI videos. And now the next thing we want to do is now in order to choose what tool you want to use, you may notice on the left hand side, you don't see any options. All you see are what is available on the left, fast, high quality, and custom. In order to select your AI generation tool, just click on custom. Okay. Once you select custom, it's automatically going to populate with these options you see right in front of you. And now notice this. Here are all of our awesome choices. Runway, Minimax, Dream Machine, and now we have Kling. And not just one Kling, we now have four different options for Kling AI. 1.5 Standard and Pro. In addition to down below, there it is, the new 1.6 Standard but also Kling 1.6 Pro. So down here at the bottom, Kling 1.6 Pro, for an example, and Standard are gonna have about 10 minute creation times. But like they say, good things do come to those who wait. Now, before we create our own AI videos, let me first show you this amazing prompt generator. Now, when it comes to this prompt generator, it's gonna instantly create three different styles for you. We're gonna have POV, point of view style. We're gonna have FPV, first person view. And finally, cinematic movie, studio style. You're going to get two prompts for each style, but wait until you see my favorite part of this prompt generator. Now, as a quick example, let me show you some prompts that this generator actually produced for me. So what this database is going to contain, it's going to contain some amazing different keywords and styles, specific keywords that will allow you to generate amazing and creative looking images and AI videos. We're also going to have specific cameras and lenses you'll want to use. Get these incredible prompt databases by clicking the link in the description. And as I click over each one of these, you could see that this prompt generator actually created all of these prompts for me. And a quick reminder, any prompts I share in any of my YouTube videos will all be available completely free to use in the form of a blog post or a web page. My website contains hundreds and hundreds of prompts. And so the one we're looking at today is this one right here, over here in the bottom right hand corner. Okay. You could see FPV POV cinematic movie studio prompt instantly. So the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and copy this whole entire thing just like that. With the prompt copied, we're now going to head over to our favorite LLM. In this case, I'll use ChatGPT today, although Claude also does a good job. Now, I'm already here in ChatGPT, and you can see it already has been giving me a ton of amazing prompts. But let's go ahead and open up a brand new chat and start this from scratch. Let's just simply paste in this whole entire prompt. There it is. Now, the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and hit enter, because once you do, look at this. Just by pasting and then hitting enter on this prompt, it's going to automatically just start the creation process. And look how fast it's already getting to work. Now you'll notice right away, we didn't provide a subject. That's the point of this whole prompt. We want to have the AI just give us the creativity and produce its own ideas first. So you can see right away, we're going to get six prompts. That's going to be two prompts for each style. Okay. So we're going to have two prompts for FPV. We're going to have two prompts for POV. And now we're going to come down here and now have two prompts for cinematic movie style prompts. Now here is the key thing that is so important for each 
each of these six prompts, we're gonna get some amazing details that actually make a big difference. For an example, let's look at the first ones for FPV. Notice this, since FPV is first person view, it's important to understand that in order to get the reality of what this AI video should look like, it's important to use the right keywords. And so for this first prompt right here, look how impressive this is. It understands its first person view. So look at the camera it actually selected, GoPro Hero Black. That is what is commonly known for a first person view type of camera. Coming down to the second one, look at this, amazing. Now, if we go down a little bit further for point of view prompts, we're gonna get the Sony A7S. Further down for this one, we're gonna get the Canon EOS R6 Mark II, and we even get an amazing lens for cinematic depth of field. But now down here at the very bottom is what is highly impressive. Since I wanted a cinematic movie style prompt for AI video, it's important for ChatGPT to give me that same sort of a camera, and it did just that. In my first one for an epic battle, look, it gave me one of my favorite cameras, the Arri Alexa Mini LF, and one of my favorite lenses, okay? Scrolling down, now look at this one right here. I get the Red V Raptor camera. That's why I love this prompt generator because it's gonna give you exactly the details that you need for amazing AI video. But now the final question down here at the very bottom. Look at this final question right here. Would you like to focus on any particular subject or concept for me to create additional prompts? Now, if you have any other topic in mind, just simply tell it your new idea or subject and and then instantly, just like that, you're gonna get six more prompts. So before we test this out, let's go ahead and then give it a new concept down here at the very bottom. And with my new concept, I'm gonna be very vague because I just know I want a beautiful woman walking, but I'll let ChatGPT decide and determine what each setting is gonna look like. So let's go ahead and hit enter on this one. Now look, right away, it gets to work again, two prompts for each style, FPV, POV and cinematic. Now this time we're gonna get even different cameras. On this first one here, for this POV one, we're gonna get the Sony FX3 with a 35 millimeter lens. Down below, we're gonna go with the EOS R5. And now here are perhaps my favorite, the cinematic movie style ones. And we get this full prompt here. And again, one of my favorite cameras, the Red Komodo 6K and a 24 millimeter lens. And look at this right here. Important details, camera begins with a sweeping crane shot. Now here's something important to keep in mind. This prompt generator and these prompts can also work double duty for you, meaning they can be used not only to create amazing text to AI video, but you could also create amazing AI images with these. I'll first do this by generating an image, but then I'll also do it by generating a video just by this prompt alone. Okay, as you can see, we have a ton of amazing prompts that we can use to generate both AI images and video. And so I actually did that with a lot of these prompts. Just take a look at how amazing some of these images look. So how do you think I look? Now all I did was come over here back in chat GPT and I just simply copied and pasted each of these prompts directly into free pick. And now once they're in there, you could see the actual prompt right here at the very top. Now going through a few, you can quickly determine which ones you think will actually do a good job in creating video. Now I can tell you right off the bat, some of these are gonna do a better job than others. Now this one might do very well. That looks incredibly realistic because Kling is actually known at doing a great job with the intricate details. And in my opinion, some of the best that we could possibly get, I think for AI video, are are gonna be these specific ones of these aerial or these first person shots like these right here. But look how good of a job this actually did. I mean, a phenomenal job. So that's five seconds. When you do it for 10 seconds, it captures even more detail. So what I'll do is because some of these can take up to 10 minutes to create, I'll go in here and quickly copy and paste these and enter them into Kling. Once I have a few of these created, we'll come back and revisit to see how good of a job these actually did. Now, the other thing I want to show you very quickly to take advantage of this prompt generator is this right here. So say for an example, you like a particular style. Like in my case, I think the FPVs have done a very good job. So what I said in chat GPT was this right here. I said, now provide some creative and unique prompts for a FPV shot of a drone fly through. So just by saying that I'm going to get one, two, three, four, five, 
six prompts, okay, all for the particular style I asked it to. So I have this one at the very top, okay, the thrill of running along a rugged Mediterranean cliffside. There is the full prompt again right here. The first one was done with just text only. Now this time, let's go ahead and use an image for reference. I'll select start image right here. And since I'm choosing an image I already created in free pick, I'm simply gonna scroll down until I find the one that I want. And so it's gonna be that same one right here I did earlier with that drone hovering through the Mediterranean. Simply go ahead and click it on the left-hand side. Now select use image. Now it's gonna populate on the left-hand side. Now notice this, it went ahead and removed my prior prompt and it went ahead and now selected its own description. So you can do one of two things. You can use the description that the AI provided for you or you can remove it and put your prompt back in, which we're gonna go ahead and do, okay? There it is now. But also watch this. If I do remove it and I just say something like this, FPV shot of a drone flying through the Mediterranean like that, okay? Now that could work, but notice you also have this magic wand right here that's called Enhanced Prompt with AI. Go ahead and select that now. Once you do, it's gonna take your basic prompt, level it up, and then make an even better, more detailed prompt based off of your very simple prompt, okay? So that's another option that you could also use if you just have a basic and simple idea in mind. But with that said, let's go ahead and paste my prompt back in from the prompt generator to make sure it matches the same one up at the top. Now, with everything selected, there is my start image. Let's go ahead and generate this one, but this time do 10 seconds. Now notice this, if I go to custom, I could choose Kling 1.6 standard or go back to 1.6 pro. Let's leave it at pro and now select generate on this one. Okay, so it does look like our videos are done and we got some very good ones. So let's first start with this one right down here at the bottom. This is gonna be the FPV shot of the drone running through the Mediterranean. Now for this first one, right here. This was done without an image. This is just going to be text to video with text alone as the only creation process. And this did a great job. Now let's take that same exact prompt. And now this time, let me show you what it did when I first generated the image in free pick. And now let's look at the video it did actually create. Again, you can see same exact prompt, but this time I used my image and this did incredible. Now, another one I did the same thing with is going to be these two videos right here. Here, okay, we have the sequence of this couple walking hand in hand in Paris. Now, this first one right here at the very top, this is going to be just the prompt only. But now let's see how this turned out when I used my image generated in free pick first, okay? Look how realistic and good this actually does now. Beautiful job. And now another very impressive one. Now this one right here was also done with my prompt generator. This breathtaking woman walking through the luxury ballroom. Look how amazing this did. Now this one was done with the images reference as well, but I just can't mention enough how impressed I've been with all of the level of details. And as we scroll up, I do want to show you this one right here. Again, this one, highly impressive. I took an original image of my AI influencer, Luna. Hi, I'm Luna. And I just gave it a very simple prompt. By going through a few of these in Kling, here is a drone shot right here. This looks fantastic as well. I do have to say that I am highly impressed with what Kling 1.6 is also able to do in free pick in this new update. So, I mean, you're gonna get the best of both worlds. And remember, make sure you check the links in the description. And if you like this video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. But thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.